Crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com, and today I'm here with the Newton's Nook Designs October release. It's their holiday release, so we have a few different holiday stamp sets to show you, and up today is the Festive Flamingo stamp set. I think this is a really fun and unique stamp set because it is a sort of tropical holiday stamp set, and I know there's a lot of people out there um, who have don't have a white Christmas, they don't have snow at Christmas, and so to have a stamp set that doesn't necessarily feature those motifs will be helpful. I'm thinking um, one of our design team members who lives in Florida was particularly excited about this, but people maybe also who live in the Southern Hemisphere and just kind of want more to do that sort of tropical Christmas thing. And so today I'm going to be using the Deco Art Media Textured Sand Paste. I actually picked mine up at Tupelo Designs LLC. I haven't seen it in a lot of places, so I will um, leave you a link down in the description box below. But I wanted to test this out because it kind of promises to look like there is sand on top of your paper. And I thought that would be particularly cute with this flamingo, although I could see using with a lot of different other stamp sets in the summertime. But I thought, oh, it would be fun to tie it into a holiday card since that might be a less obvious use of it. And so I'm taking a little dollop of it. I think I started with about a tablespoon although I wind up needing more, so I think maybe about two tablespoons to mix at a time would be a good idea. And I'm going to put it on my Ranger craft sheet here. Then I'm using Distress Re-Anchor to give it some color. I found that one drop was too light for my preference of a sand color, and I thought that it would dry back a little bit, so I did go a little bit darker than I you know, wanted the final product to look. And I found that to be true. It does dry back a touch. And so for each tablespoon, about two reinker drops to create the look of sand, and that's antique linen distress reinker. Obviously, just use whatever reinker you have, test it out, play around with it. You don't need the um, distress reinker to make it work. I found that most of these pastes work with any reinkers you happen to have, and you could also try it by just smushing the distress pad onto your craft sheet. But I find that to be a lot lighter of a color, and then you wind up. Um, it's, I don't know, I just find it more difficult to add. And since I'm personally a fan of the reanchors for a variety of techniques, including coloring pastes, I decided to use it. This stencil that I'm using to create the little hill is from Create a Smile stamps. And um, I can leave you a link to them as well. I don't know of too many other uh, stencils that just give you that hillside there. Um, I know of a lot of background stencils. But, you know, certainly could try to find something like that. Although, honestly, you probably don't even need it. You could sort of freehand a little bit of a hill. But since I happen to have the stencil, I use it as a guide to create the top of my hill. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of the card, just freehanding it. And so you see here that, you know, sometimes they say a little goes a long way. But honestly, I found that you wanted to give it a pretty decent thickness in order for it to really look like sand. If you scrape too much, you can see the white cardstock poking through. I happen to be working on Georgia Pacific 110 pound cardstock that I typically get at Walmart. And I find that it's too thin. I would rather have used a darker one, or sorry, a thicker one, because this one warped a lot. And um, I just think that if I'd put any more paste, if I'd done it even a little bit thicker, I just don't know if it would have held up to it. So you can use it, but I'd recommend something thicker if you have it. And then I'm going to stamp the flamingo from the Festive Flamingo set from Newton's Nook. And I'm not going to show the Copic coloring of this particular flamingo because it's such a small area. And I do have trouble getting my camera to focus in on these detailed images without doing all of this auto-focusing, auto-correcting thing that it's doing right now. Um, but I did want to re-emphasize some of the black lines in the stamp by just taking a Copic multi-liner and tracing over it. You could do the same thing with a memento marker or any black pen that you have. I use the Copic one just because I happen to have it and I use it with some other Copic things, uh, with my markers for example. And so I just kind of trace over some of the black lines to re-emphasize them. I think that it's particularly helpful if you are um, Copic coloring over the eyes of a critter that are solid black you kind of can re-emphasize them by just tracing them over. And I've seen a lot of people do that. I think it just kind of makes the eyes pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to stamp the Dreaming of a Pink Christmas sentiment. I know that I will use this one because my mom is obsessed with the color pink. And she thinks that every holiday should be pink. She loves to use pink on her Christmas cards. 
And so uh, if I don't choose this card for her, I'm sure I will make her an, a Christmas card with that sentiment. And I stamped it in VersaFine Ink and Clear embossed it. I wanted to keep the card really bright and have that tropical feel. And one of the reasons that I clear embossed the black sentiment is because I still want it to pop. Although if you just have black ink, stamp the sentiment after you do the Distress background. I chose Mermaid Lagoon because it's a really bright blue in the Distress line. And I knew that it would, um, the, it would go well with these bright pinks that I had used for the flamingo. I am going in with a light hand to start and then slowly layering color. And I'm also creating a halo around the flamingo. I don't want to have to mask the whole flamingo. And so instead I can bring the color most of the way to the flamingo but sort of stop at the edges. And that white halo around it actually emphasizes it rather than takes away from it. And I think it sometimes even looks better than if you go all the way to the edge of the animal. Because that sort of makes the... Um, if you want to really make the animal pop, that white is what helps the animal pop. I did find that I got a little bit of the blue ink onto the sand, and you could probably avoid that if you use like a finger dauber instead, but I think that the um, Distress Tim Holtz foam works better. So just, you know, be careful. I do try to sort of cover up that little bit of blue, but I also want to really emphasize and ground the flamingo. So I want to add a little bit of a darker color here on the sand paste. And what I also like that this shows you is that if you didn't like the way the color dried, you could go back in with your reinkers and paint on some ink and still dye the sand even once dry. So here I'm taking the antique linen distress reinker. I put a little droplet onto my Ranger craft sheet and I'm taking a dry brush, even though it's a water brush, it has no water in it, it's a dry brush, and I'm painting on the color. So if you wanted to get the look of sand, but you wanted it to be several colors, you could put the paint down, so I put the texture paste down, and then color it with the reinkers later. Um, or do like we're doing here, kind of creating that little bit of ombre, a little bit of interest, and also covering up the mistake because I got that blue where I didn't want it to be. So I'm just going to fade it out a little bit by slowly adding some water and pulling it downwards. And then that's going to be it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, including Newton's Nook, please subscribe to my channel. I'll leave you links to some other Newton's Nook cards as well, but also to the Newton's Nook Designs October release blog hop, where you can enter for your chance to win the Festive Flamingo stamp set if you leave comments on all the designers' blogs. Thanks for watching. Bye.